Zarathustra. Hi, sweetheart. Nice seeing you. Nice seeing you. <laughs> yeah. Everything's good? Yes, so far everything is good. Are you working these days or? No. Or no. I'm working in March. Okay. You um, haven't worked. You haven't worked since March. Yes, and it's really uh, a hard lesson for me. Right. Because what I'm what part of it is hard? You know that I don't have to work. That I don't have this structure during the day, and uh, I mean, without working, no money. You know, so. Um, it's really tough at the moment for me. I mean, what you are talking, I try to be meditate or to, to live a meditating life since years. But these days with this coronavirus and the whole lockdown and all these uh, damages without having work, it's really, really tough to stay in that place. Right. So when you say it's tough to stay in that place, what do you mean by that place? What is that it place? Is meditating place. Because I did meditate my whole life. Like, you know, when I was with the children, for me, it was a meditation. When I go out with my dog into the forest, it's a meditation. When I'm cooking, it's a meditation like this. It, okay. It was since i don't know 15 years i lived that way but in those days to stay in that kind of yeah okay it's, it's i really, get it it's too okay. difficult for me. right like right. oh my god i will get bankrupt i will lose my house i will not get a job anymore i and all those things in the mind you know Yes, the mind will go all over the place. Yes, so it's yeah. really, th this is tough for me, but you know. Right, right, I, I, I understand. So, okay, you, you brought a couple of things, which is really nice in uh, the, uh, uh, related to the subject of what we're talking today, uh, which is wonderful what you said. You mentioned that when things were going semi, sort of your way, okay? You were working, you were making money, and you had your rhythm, okay? Yes. When things somehow were going your way, then it was easy to meditate, or it was easy to be present with whatever you do. Yes, I mean, you know, my my job is not always easy and it's not easy to raise three children without a husband and it's not easy to earn enough money for four. I mean, I have this like for 15 years, you know, but this was not difficult for me. I, I could yeah. operate with all these things and it was not an easy life. Yes. But this situation now is top 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 yes so yeah. so the heat went up and Absolutely. it was like exist <laughs> yes yeah existence <laughs> said you know what susanna you've been doing you've been doing a good job Absolutely. you've been a good you've yeah. been a good girl you've been a good mommy you are you can develop yeah mm -hmm. You've been, you've been trying, you've been working, you've done everything right. Mm -hmm. We're proud of you. And now we're promoting you to the next level. We're going to take you to university. Absolutely. This is what I'm in now. <laughs> so, so you're brought up to the next level. Yes. Yeah. And the next level is to turn up the heat. Mm-hmm. So in a way, in some ways, you may experience like you're, you're on a grill. It's like they, they picked up this piece of filet mignon and they put it on the barbecue and the barbecue is hot and you're burning. Absolutely. Yes. Right. Exactly. And there's no escape, you know. And there's, there's no, no escape. escape. No, there's nowhere to go. No, that's right. No. I've had that happen to me that they, they get you by the balls. Let me just put it in a very simple layman term. Yes. Existence <laughs> got you by the balls and there's no way out. Yeah, 
and now I'm yeah. cooking. And now you're cooking. Yes. Exactly. Right. Right. So How do you know you're cooking? I feel it. You know, there are days when it's easier to to cooperate with this and there are days when when I could cry the whole time or when I'm desperate or when I don't know, you know, what to do with my day, you know, and it's it's like up and down. So that's why I, I, I feel it. Okay. So now we're talking about, somehow I didn't want to get into this, but we're directed in that direction. So I can't keep my mouth shut. So I have to talk. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's oh, come. <laughs> right. Okay. Yeah. So What is happening here is very typical that happens to the spiritual seeker. And you're not the only one. It happens to all of us. And basically, literally every spiritual seeker, everyone who wants to get to the point has to go through different stages in your spiritual involvement. This is different stages on this path of self-realization because you're invited. You've been invited. You've been chosen by the boss. And I don't know why you or why me. Those things are beyond my understanding and I'm even not going to try to understand it. But it's an invitation. So God comes and gives you a big kiss. And you're fucked because you fall in love with God and you're impregnated. And now the love is so enormous that the desire for another kiss from God is so strong. This pulls you so strongly that nothing else matters. But in the meantime, this fire that you have for self-realization also, in the meantime, is very painful. There's a lot of pain with it. And the pain of this wanting union with the, 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 with the beloved, wanting to... So you, you're kind of like, can't go back to your old days and be sleepy, you know? And just, you say, I wish I could be like my sister or my family or my friends or whatever. And they don't give a shit about any of these things and they believe the world is real and that's their world and I wish I could go back. But you're screwed because you can't go back anymore and you can't go forward because you're not in this blissful state all the time that you don't feel the pain. So you're in between. It's really weird. You're pregnant and you're like eight months pregnant or seven months pregnant. You can't get rid of this baby but I'm so bloated that I can't do anything and it's painful and it's uncomfortable. So when am I going to be relieved? So it's kind of in between. That's one way of looking at it. Another look, way of looking at it is the passage. You are in this evolutionary, this awakening path that you got invited. God came and kissed you or made love to you and got you pregnant. And now you can't go back and you only have to go one way. You can't stop. You have to go forward. So you're in this level. You get to this level and say, okay, you're good. Now we want you to go through this passage. You have to go through this passage. You enter into the passage. Of course, it's not voluntarily. All of it happens involuntarily because if you can choose, all of it is going to be peaches and cream. So you have to go through the passage and you can't see the, the light at the end of the tunnel.